Okay, Patricia, you are from Hungary, yes? And I am. When were you introduced to Cecilia, to Cecilia and Planeta? Well, 2005, I arrived from, uh, from after a, a short experience in Friuli, Friuli and in Piemonte, and uh, I was about to go back to Hungary, but then uh, you were working in the in the wine business yeah, it, yeah. as a winemaker, or was as it? a winemaker? Okay. Yes. And uh, common friends uh, from Friuli told me that no, now you have yeah, to go to Sicily, well. and I said it's overseas, so it's, it seemed very extreme for me in that moment. And uh, but then I convinced myself. I at that time I already understood that these uh, spontaneous uh, adventures were the ones which went the best in my life, and so I went for one harvest. And what were the most pleasant and the most interesting surprises, shall we say, about Cecilia for you? Um, the originality of the of the place. It's somehow it's raw and it's uh, undiscovered still, and um, this is something which which uh, which is delighting me every day when I'm traveling around in the island. Uh, Especially, really, how, how small the place it is, and how uh, how many options we have in viticulture, how many original varieties what we have still to to discover. Um, this was something which which uh, really impressed me about Sicily, and how people are still close to the agriculture, which I have to say, probably the fact that it was um, in the last century, it was a very poor uh, region. Uh, now it turns to be an, uh, an advantage because it has conserved somehow the, um, the um, everyday living in, agricu in agriculture, which in other maybe northern regions it's, it's a bit more difficult nowadays to convince people to, to work in the agriculture as we should. Now, Planeta has several estates across the island. Do you visit all of them? Are you located in one area primarily, or how does that work? I've been always working more in the, uh, let's say, like a startup project. So first I was uh, more focused in Noto for two years, then four years in Victoria, and now I moved up to the Etna. So I was always in the southeastern corner. But in the end, all the decisions, uh, winemaking decisions, we are, we are bringing together with my colleagues. Um, under we are, we are the team of uh, Alessio, so the production team. Um, so I move back every week to to Memphis, to, um, which actually is a nice thing because it reminds me every week how uh, how various uh, the island is. And I imagine that the heat in Sicily certain years can be a challenge. Are there? It can be, but I have to say that uh, actually in the last uh, few years, since 2005, we did not have any extremely uh, heatful uh, year. Or maybe it's even better to say that we had a little bit more precipitations in the winter and in the spring period, which uh, then when you have your vineyards in the right soils and in the right spots, uh, it helps you a lot to bring on the vineyards in the right freshness till the till the harvest. So they were maybe not so extreme years as we know that there has been a few ones before. Uh, maybe the most risky spot now is the Etna because there we do not have uh, option for irrigation. There are some water reserves, but they are like under 300 meters of rock, so it's not so easy to dig uh, well. Uh, so there, it can be it can be sometimes um, risky in the summer period if it's without any rain showers. And what would you tell people, consumers, about the wines of Planeta specifically and the wines of Sicily in general? Uh, it's something that seems to have caught on a few years ago, and it's uh, there's other areas now in Italy that are getting a little more notice, a little more attention. So, um, just tell consumers what you know why, why they should buy. The Planeta wines, Sicilian wines, of course, but Planeta in, gen in specific. Generally, when people are asking me what what I do like to drink, um, I'm always noticing that I'm personally for like uh, Hungarian whites and Sicilian reds, and um, and um, actually for me, 
Victoria, Naruto and the whole southeastern corner is still something very exotic, very new and uh, the fruit and the smoothness and uh, the gentleness of the wines from that area is something for me as, as a huge big value. Uh, and I'm enjoying a lot that the clients now are discovering this, uh, this value because maybe before in the 90s you know there was this request for having full body, big and strong wines and nowadays when, when they are coming and, and they are really open and curious about the, the local varieties it's, uh, it's really refreshing for us and, um, and what I, I, I like to show is when they are coming to the cellar also that we are experiencing a lot on the on the ancient uh, varieties now. For example, the upcoming Milazzo project, where we are trying to rediscover an, an old appellation, the Mamertino. This will also bring, I think, uh, beautiful new colors on the on the palette. So I would tell to the to the, to the consumer that uh, maybe what they have discovered from Sicily is still just the first steps and uh, we are still opening up new and new present box. Um, okay. And finally, uh, if you would give me a phrase in Hungarian about what you love about Planeta, and then translate in English, so just, just tell me very quickly. So. I'm very happy about it. A család az, amit kaptam a Planetával, Egészen elképesztő az, ahogyan ők élnek, ahogyan ők rengeteg energiát befektetnek a szőlészetbe, és az, ahogyan ők vendéglátással foglalkoznak. Nagyon sokat tanulhatunk tőlük. Óriási, óriási szív van ebben a történetben. And in English? <laughs> Now I have to confess. <laughs> No, it was, uh, it was a message maybe uh, for more closed northern and central European uh, minds like me uh, that I have, I have received um, a second family with Planeta and I'm every day wondering how much they are investing of their energies in, um, in um, saving old values of Sicily and saving uh, Uh, family values and uh, and um, how they are uh, putting all their their hearts in this story. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.